In ancient times, the desert had no shade. The sun burned the land to ruin. The rivers disappeared, and the animals hid in the way. The people cried to Helios for mercy, but he didn't answer their prayers. As the plants withered in the heat, the hollow lands echoed the crackle of fires.
Hello. Don't kill me, please. Just a little whitestone humor for you. My name's Varric Dunbert, in my trade selling. Get a quirky collection of goods in town these come again. Hold right there, newcomer. I welcome you to Edessa, but before you enter, I must catalog your visit. Please answer the questions as truthfully as possible. It's imperative that our tallies be accurate. Now, what brings you to Edessa? Yes, well, at least you look more put together than some of the people that came here before you. Poor sods. With any luck, your errands go without incident. Now, where have you come to Edessa from? Alistar. You mean you've come from Formerus Hughes' laboratory? Yes, I, I, I see it now. They were wrong about your nose, but you match the description of the one I was to look out for. Uh, we can dispense with the remainder of my questions. You are free to enter Edessa. You will be lodged in the Sandstone Villa, temporarily. It's no trick, newcomer. I take my duties very seriously. But I think you are right to be suspicious. True, you have been saved from the squalid lodgings of the Hospitalis Quarters, but, uh, Sandstone Villa is usually saved for a... a peculiar manner of guest. It is more than unusual for one of your kind to be lodged there in any event. Now here's your... Yes, yes, go on. <laughs> You're the one that's come from Alastar. I'm Bruton, the Canis Bruton of the Praetorians. I've been stationed here for your protection. I won't lie to you, Longlegs. You being housed here is because someone wants to keep an eye on you. But I can tell you one thing. A gnome who keeps secrets in this city isn't up to anything good. Luckily, looks like I'm not the only one that noticed your arrival. 
Got some letters here from the other concerned parties. Could be some leads. Because someone important enough in this city said you needed it. You're being watched. Either you charm someone high up or you piss them off. Either way, they don't want you on your own. Hey, and here they are. Talking with any of their authors should get you in the right direction. I won't lie to you. I'm sticking my neck out here, helping you the way I have. Need anything else, talk to my Lou. He's been stationed as your retainer while you stay in the villa. Who should I know? It was tracked down whoever wrote them. You a uh, good hand. Milo, at your service. guest of Sandstone Villa. Thank the gods you've arrived. I'm Cordan Passant, a scrivener of the Domus. And I have need of... I was asked to write a letter of, uh, contingency. It was never meant to be sent, only prepared, but was accidentally taken by the courier. It must be recovered. You are not constrained by gnomish protocol. I cannot complete this task myself. It would not only cost my reputation, but the reputation of the gnome that ordered I write that letter. I am bound to preserve our integrity. Ah, yes. There was a tad of uh, artistic license that I took when drafting that correspondence. I needed your attention by any means. I apologize. You need to find the courier. She said she was making her way to the theater, but she might have stopped in the traveler's camp on Apotir. Sun Camp is the name, I believe. Fair enough. Please tell me you've made some discovery about... Fair enough. Yes? What do you want? I am not in the habit of making conversation with strangers, especially one of your stature. Please be quick. I see. Think very, very carefully about what you are saying. Octien is a Templar. He is in a position of the highest authority. For you to accuse Octien without having a direct confession is not only meaningless, but contrary to all our procedures. Even if this were true, or even already suspected, it would have to be corroborated by Octian himself. As he is not here to present the charges himself, I must assume that no such confession exists. Now, I have done all I can for you. Please, trouble me no further with this matter, especially with such insufficient evidence. We have already discussed this. As such, Templar Octian will remain undisturbed in the Lavrarium.
What? Hello. I'm here to send regrets on behalf of Templar Joriel. While she wishes to extend you aid, she's stymied by protocol. What she gave you was an official response. I'm here to give you another response. A personal one. My superior has suspected for some time the crimes that you've levied against Templar Octien. But like you, she is frustrated by his status. Allow me to be direct. If you can make Templar Octien publicly acknowledge his crimes, then Templar Joriel will reward you. She will be your patron of sorts. You wish to bring the Templar to justice, yes? Then you must get him to publicly acknowledge his crimes in some form. As my superior no doubt told you, the Templar may be found in the Livrarium. I suggest you go there. You, you're alive. What an unexpected and quite unfortunate turn of events. For starters, he expected you to be rotting in a sandy ditch somewhere. Understand? You and I are alike. All we both want is to see this business reach its end. Ha! The white palm are hardly thugs. Simply finding them cost me a small fortune, when I expect to be reimbursed with this failure. Or what? You'll slaughter me in a murderous rage? Typical. Your kind is as predictable as it is stupid. I'm afraid you'll find me quite hard to kill. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same for you. Attack me in this city, and I won't just have you clapped in irons. Oh, I'll hand you over to the scholars in the Basilica for research. A long career supporting vivification research has left me with certain advantages. You could say I'm more resilient than most of your enemies. I'll admit I did not see you and Hughes are lying to blackmail me. His conscience was always his biggest liability. Ventrinio will take over a search on the well. He has no such weaknesses. Perhaps I'll even give him your corpse to examine. After all, you met your first death as his assistant. It would be a reunion. Of course. And it's such a pity you'll never find out.
If setting fire to the Livrarium and hiring assassins is not an admission of guilt on Octien's part, I certainly don't know what is. It is clear that we Templars must make him assume responsibility for his actions, overt as well as hidden. Even though you went against my explicit instruction, you were effective. You have my respect. Should he survive the wounds earned in battle, I should think so. Or, perhaps, save this mysterious well of souls. Regardless, Gnome Society is in your debt, and we always pay what is owed. I'm afraid that's one promise I cannot make. But I've been told that while you were on the scaffolds, Scholar Hughes managed to salvage Octien's texts from the Livrarium fire. He should arrive shortly. With any luck, he's discovered something that might be of use to you. What? Well, our newest guest, I hope you are enjoying the Sandstone Villa. It is a lovely building. Wow. Blessings to you. It was my mistake to assume that Octian would go quietly. Such a waste. Some of those books he burned were centuries old, but luckily for us, I was able to salvage some from the flames. Oh, great many prizes. Treatises on the nature of death, tables upon tables of autopsy analyses, but only one item of true value. Octien's diary. Based off of what I've read in these pages, Ventrinia has been working on an island off of Cluricon. I'm afraid the dark wood of Cluricon still hides our Tawatha enemies. When you reach Ventrinia, beware. He is certainly a genius, but complicated. His mind may be dangerous, but it holds the secret to entering Alabastra, and you must find it. Oh, I will. In fact, I believe I'll be staying in Odessa to offer what support I can. With Octian out of the way, the people will be needing a new Templar, after all. Alpha have a grand city in Rathia. Farewell. Well, there is much work left to be done to the Isles, but be well. What? Problem. Elund Karth refuses to send any troops to assist Melsen Shear. The old fool never would listen to reason. A weapon is only as strong as the one that wields it, and a general is only as powerful as the army she leads. You can find him in the upper city, looking over the strait at Melsen Shear. A fool might as well be condemning the city. 